Hi right, guys, uh, welcome to the next time of Oko DVA 2. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing the, um, a, a parameter um, called Snap 3. Uh, well, basically, in terms of the Oko software, um, <coughs> the good thing about Oko is that pretty much you can set um, you can set parameters for like uh, for any feed, any um, any of the um, components inside of Oko. So for Snap 3 parameter is, is actually going to um, affect the block size um, and basically again it, it, if you guys can remember uh, in terms of the architecture of Oracle the block is the, is the smallest component uh, inside, or inside, inside the Oracle software so uh, the first thing I do is I'm going to be working again on, <coughs> on uh, um, the express edition for Oracle 11 GR2 the first thing I'll do is uh, I've actually um, I'm already in my directory for, my, for myself uh, for my uh, software, um, and I will just uh, launch the SQL Plus application now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, actually connect. So first thing I do is uh, just go give you guys more give you guys more details. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, create two tables. Uh, I wanna create one table with uh, with percent percent zero um, as the as the um, as the unit for that parameter, and then I'm gonna create another table for let's say percent sixty as a unit for that for that uh, for that uh, parameter for percent parameter for for that uh, table. And basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a uh, um, sort of like a a, uh, like an introduction to how you can affect uh, basically the local software by setting those uh, that parameters for um, inside your block. So um, first thing I'll do is I'm actually going to um, I'll be working with um, actually hold on let me first thing I do is I'm gonna create the table. Uh, I'm gonna name um, the table for, uh, for the one that has a percent. Um, Three zero. Uh, I'm gonna call that uh, table underscore percent underscore zero. And then these are just uh, some additional type of parameters that uh, I'm just gonna have uh, alongside uh, uh, my database, my, my table creation. So I'm gonna turn it to the user table space uh, percent three, uh, and I'm gonna turn it zero, a zero value. Um, and then um, it's going to be a create as, and I will select star from all underscore offsets. Just to make sure that I'm getting uh, a fair amount of data back. Uh, if um, if a if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, user offset back, I mean. Okay, and I'm creating this is the first, the first table that I've created. Um, next, I'm going to create a table for the 60%. Um, uh, uh, 60%. Um, uh, for, um, 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 parameter. Uh, what I would do is again create table table underscore percent underscore sixty table space users percent three. Okay, so basically, um, I've created two tables. So what I do now is, I'm just I'm actually going to go table by table. Uh, the first table that I work on, um, is the table percent zero. Uh, what I what I'll do is I'm going to um, write an insert, insert statement. So I'm actually going to go. In, I'm actually going to have. Um, I'm going to pull values or data from the all object uh, table and then insert them into the um, into my table percent zero uh, table. So um, insert into table underscore percent underscore zero select star from all underscore object again what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling the data from the all underscore objects and actually what I should have done is um, you know what that's 
not committed so let me roll that back roll back okay and then one of the mistakes that i made already is that um for this uh table what i should have done is um i should have added in another clause um uh, for for these two tables i'm actually going to do that now i'm going to drop every table create them uh, 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 object where one equals to two the reason why I have uh, one equals to two is I I basically just want to have a container I don't want to I don't want to have the data um, basically the, the I'm looking for the structure not the data itself so uh, so this is the way to ensure that I'm only going to get the structure uh, what I do next is I'm actually going to run that the second create table uh, so I just recreated zero. I'm gonna recreate uh, 60 now. Where one is equal to two. Two tables are created. I'm gonna uh, rewrite my insert statement. Insert into table underscore pc ptc underscore zero select. And also, uh, if you guys can remember your insert statements, you typically have to add select. So when you're doing a, a, the as uh, such and such, but if you are doing it as an as select in a select statement, um, within um, if you have a select statement, it's a select statement inside of your insert statement. You do not have to. Um, basically, you, 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 there's no you do not put the ad, the as in. You just you just uh, write the select uh, statement after you uh, after you want to point it to. Uh, to the uh, the uh, the target the target table. So insert select star from all underscore objects. There you go. Okay. What I'll do now is I'm actually going to uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna write another insert statement. But what I'll do is I'm actually going to point uh, to this as the source and also as the target. Uh, so it's just gonna be. I'm just gonna be compiling data on top of data, so you guys can see how how much uh, how much my uh, my my table is increasing by. Guys, hold on. Just give me one minute. Okay, hi guys. Uh, um, uh, basically, this is where I left off. So I'm actually going to be using uh, this table as a source in the target. So I'm gonna issue the insert into table underscore ptc underscore zero select star from table underscore ptc underscore zero so basically what I'll do now is I'm just gonna keep running that same query again uh, if I can get a, a decent amount of rows inserted into my uh, into my target table. Okay, so I'm think I'm gonna stop at I'm gonna stop right here after this one is done. gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna have a I'm actually I should have done this from the beginning. I'm going to cd into the directory because I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these two the two uh the two data the two um insert side by side so you guys can see exactly uh uh basically the the uh the gist of today's lesson. Okay, so this is done. I'm gonna commit. 
there you go. And actually, you go, I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna insert into. And if you guys can can have noticed, uh, basically I made sure that I commit it here because I'm working with the DML. So um, if I'm to if I'm to log out and log back in, I would not have this these these uh, rows, um, uh, these values inside my table. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna insert into um, table underscore pcc underscore sixty, and then select star from all underscore objects there you go and then what we do again I'm gonna use this as the source and target table so it's gonna be insert into table underscore pcc underscore 60 select star from uh, table underscore pcc underscore 60 so I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna run this query um, again to get uh, close to what I have here. Basically, the reason why I'm again, the reason why I'm I'm, I'm doing all this um, additional commits is I additional inserts. I just want to get a really high, a really high number of rows so uh, I can have uh, I can make the point in terms of the percent percent free uh, parameter uh, which I uh, talked about earlier. There we go. I need two more. You know what, this one will be good. And what I should do actually is I'm actually going to open up a another SQL plus. You know, I can need to get one thing. So as soon as uh, I'm actually going to see into my directory again, there you go. And I just need this one to uh, be can to be um, these rows to be inserted, so I can come right here and show you guys uh, exactly what. Um, there you go. So it's all done. So let me commit. Okay. So what I do now is actually I need a fourth one. I need a fourth one front. So what I'll do now is I'm going to issue a set uh, timing on where well basically I'll be able to uh, uh, know how long it takes for um, the optimizer to be able to uh, pull, pull, to, pull the, uh, all of those data. Um, basically the, the process is optimizer goes get, go and get the, uh, the rows from the, uh, the, uh, the data. The, Go, goes goes into the um the Oracle software into the into the block gets the data and then what and basically I just have, I have myself a result set so set timing on is gonna basically let me know how long it takes for all of that all of those processes to take place 
So uh, set timing on. I'm gonna issue a select count. Thank you so much for watching.